Okay, I've been out this chair. Okay, I've been out this for a while. I finally got it faced off. I got two little air bubbles, which are pretty decent sized ones, which kind of sucks. But it's in a place that it won't even be seen. And in all honesty, it probably just got covered up. Yeah, it'll actually get covered up with the cover. Okay. This stuff. This stuff is so hard, it's like trying to machine hardened or chilled cast iron. It's actually coming off in a dust. And that is aluminum. I've gone through two high speed steel bits already. It's actually uh, dulled them out. And I've only taken two passes on this thing. It is hard. I've, this bit here is designed for cast iron. So, yeah, I. I put this one in. Yeah, I put this one in because it was the only thing that I had that would cut okay. So I didn't want to resharpen everything again and again. And this one is a little harder steel. I think it's M42 cobalt high-speed steel. So it's a little harder. All I know is if it takes and dulls this one out, I'm just grabbing a carbide insert holder and putting it in there. It is just that hard. I'm afraid of what it's going to do to my uh, boring bar. I'm trying to pour this thing out soon. see the dust just flying off of it. I got it on the final speed because this is the final pass. I'm calling it for this one. So. Yeah, I got it on the final speed. The table's pretty much all the way down. My vice holds the cylinder really nicely, so that makes it a lot easier. Yeah, I definitely get my use out of this old thing. Just wish it was a little bigger. Next thing to do is face off the top and bottom of the steam chest. Yeah, steam chest. And get it ready to fit on there. And also, I need to do out this. Then it'll be off to trying to indicate that all in, or not indicate that all in, but drill the holes in it, and then I'll take this, it'll have a slot through the middle, and one through the middle there, kind of an X, or a cross shape, and then I'll just lap the bottom on some sandpaper to get it smooth. And that should be ready to go. And 
that is naval bronze in case you were wondering. That's why it's kind of a more dark bronze color than a brass. Brass has a really bright yellow color that's kind of an orange. Hey, right, I'll shut up. And come back up to you. Almost done. You can see the three little or, little dinky holes or air bubbles or gas bubbles. That's the only part that I see that has any defects at all. It's pretty much perfect. Uh, less, this is the last pass. It is about five thousand depth of cut and one click on the handle which is about two and a half thousandths step over so it's pretty fine it takes forever but it leaves a finish that is comparable to a surface grinder in all honesty so it's nice as you can see on the vice front this stuff is coming off as a dust it actually is so hard it's not coming off in streams or anything like that it's just coming off as dust the stupid thing due to the high silicon content in it it's actually as hard on cutters and as abrasive on cutters as cast iron is it's also abrasive on the machine too which is why I I'm running the sweeper right after it. I get done here. I got a industrial shop back that I use to suck up lathe and shape for shavings. Makes it real easy too. Yeah, it's like glass smooth. You can't even feel it. Hit. You could see where the sprue was because it's a little hotter than it was. But, yeah. 
but it is flat all the way across. So, no, I kept wearing out the cutters because they were um, the high silicon content in it, the crystals were actually dulling the, or acting like abrasive and dulling out the cutting edges. And I'd have to keep taking them out, swap them for another one, and keep to keep it going, and then I'd go resharpen it. This one is my slotting tool, but it's the same profile used as what you'd use on cast iron to get a, or for a finishing tool. And it does great on this aloe here. So, okay. Okay, all done up, all cleaned up. I could take and put this on here now. Wrong way though. Or it is the right way, but I'll face that off there. And uh, start doing layout lines for everything. I was worried about trying to machine the slots in the port face, but I decided I'm just going to chain drill it. And let me grab it here. I have a carbide end mill in my Dremel or Dremel clone Harbor Freight Special but yeah it's a small carbide end mill that they use for drilling circuit boards and stuff I tried it on that alloy and everything and it just eats right through it I'll chain drill it and then just and to open the slots up or to do it into the slots. It'll make short work of that. Okay.